my gosh. Hey y'all, it's Kira, and welcome back to my channel, As Told by Kira. If you're new here, I do hair, makeup, and beauty videos, and on occasion, I vlog. Right now, I'm doing Vlogsmas, so definitely after this video, you should go check out my Vlogsmas vlog. Today, I'm going to bring you a very special video on how I transition my hair from natural to natural. Yes, you read the title right. Um, just because you have natural hair doesn't mean that your hair is necessarily any more healthy than anybody else's. If you have natural hair, your hair can also still be damaged. Um, my hair personally was heat damaged because I just kept straightening it and straightening it and straightening it. But just today, I finally made the last step in my transitioning hair journey to cutting off the rest of the straight pieces and having actual curls. I don't think I actually have ever seen my hair with curls. Um, because I had locks most of my life and when I combed them out I didn't have a curl pattern for some reason. I think it's because I had them for 16 years and never did I want to use conditioner. I don't know if that's the actual reason why but that's what happened to my hair. So when I um, combed them out I didn't have a hair pattern or a curl pattern um, until I straightened my hair and then I washed it and I realized okay I have some kind of formation there. So I didn't really start noticing like this curl pattern that was under my hair until this summer. And then I was like, wait a second, like what are these? It's like, what are those? You know? So I cut off like a piece of hair like around here during the summer. I cut it off like like right there to see what would happen. I was like, oh crap, like I have curls under here under all this damaged length. At the time, I was like, okay, I think I'm just going to live with the damaged ends because I really want the length. And yeah, I just don't want to cut my hair right now. But, um, I don't know. When I came home after exams, I was just like, you know what? I'm not going to see anyone for a month, which gives my hair time to grow a half an inch. So, might as well cut off all the deep damage. So I just wanted to bring you three tips on transitioning from natural to natural because I feel like this is something that not a lot of people talk about that, um, you know, would really help if more people talk about it and more people would know how to transition and retain as much length as they can. So the first tip is to give your hair time. When you first notice that you're very damaged after having curly hair, you're going to want to grab the scissors. And I'm just saying, stop. You probably just washed it after it was straight for a while and chances are your hair hasn't had time to like recurl back up. So just take some time, you know, about a month I would say. And really just make sure you're taking care of your hair and hydrating and oils and your leave in conditioner and doing deep conditions and all of that. The last time I straightened my hair was the end of October for homecoming. Yeah, after that I noticed that my hair was like like noticeably damaged. So I was like, okay, let me take this month to see how much my curls could revert. So I took all of November and it's like halfway to, through December. So I took like a month and a half. And yeah, I noticed some of my curls came back and some pieces that were like really bone straight, like they began to have a wave in them. And I was like, okay, this gives me hope. So I would say after you give your hair time, the second thing that you're gonna wanna do is do a treatment. So if after the first month you still notice damage, you're gonna want to do a salon quality protein treatment on your hair. So that's what I did. I used the Afogee protein treatment. It's a two-step protein treatment. It comes with a shampoo, um, the protein, actual protein treatment, and then it comes with a little aftercare conditioner. I just did that today after one month of just making sure my hair was hydrated. My hair has been through it all. I straightened it, curled it, lightened it, and then dyed it back black again. After all that, I used the Apogee. Um, first, I washed my hair with the shampoo, and then I washed that out. Then I used protein treatment on the areas that were like bone straight or had only a little bit of wave. You use that by putting that on your hair, and then you blow dry it on high heat. I know that sounds weird, but it just helps the protein bond with your hair and make it stronger. It works by filling the proteins into the weak parts of your hair and it repairs split ends, strengthens your hair, 
and it also restores your curls. After I did the protein treatment, my hair was rock hard, so then you go in the shower and let it flat over your hair. Then you condition with the Apogee conditioner, and then you wash it out, and then you condition with your own regular conditioner. Yeah, so I noticed that I definitely did repair some curls, like some places where my hair was like straighter or more wavy, it like really tightened up the curls and brought them back. But after this, I still noticed that a lot of my hair was heat damaged and just like bone straight. And I knew that this would, I knew that this would happen, but I was like, okay, so this is where I need to do the third step of transitioning because I'm tired of transitioning. I just want to, I just want to have curls already. So I decided to trim my hair and it was more like a cut, but we're going to call it a trim for the three feet. So I took my hair shears and I just trimmed and trimmed all of my hair that was straight. Um, I did it while it was dry and if you're, um, if you never trimmed your hair before, I suggest that you do it while your hair is wet so that you can see what's curly and what's not. I trimmed a little bit under the curl, like where there was still a little damage. Um, this is because sometimes the heat damage weighs down the curl, so some of it, a lot less is damaged than it actually looks like, you know? Yeah, I did all that, and then I was like, well, a little bit in shock, I was like, wow, I really just did this. Like, I even put my hair up in the bun, I was like, oh my gosh, it's so short. But I was like, okay, let me just, um, try to define my curls. So, I just defined them with some Cantu, the curl activating cream, which works really well now that my hair is actually curly. And I just, um, put that through my hair with water and coconut oil, and I trimmed any extra pieces that were straight. And then we have hair. Um, you might notice that the top of my hair is still, is like more damaged than the bottom. And this is just because, um, I used, when my hair is straight, I really like to wear middle parts, and I just kept straightening it, and just straightening it until it was super straight. So, yeah, this part was more damaged. But I remember this was bone straight. So the fact that I didn't have to cut all this off and that it's probably still gonna curl back up because the Apogee treatment works over time. It helps your hair get curly over time. Um, it just makes me uncool because this was bone straight at one point, like no bends at all. And now it's like something, you know? But yeah. So that's my little story on how I transitioned from natural to natural. I'm really excited. Um, I think it's so cool that I actually have curls and just to think that at one point I didn't think I had a curl pattern at all. This is really cool figuring out that I did. I'm really excited right now. I'm really happy with it. I know probably in a day or two I'm going to be like, where's all my hair? Like, I miss my hair. But um, if I do, I'm just going to put my hair in box braids so I don't like do anything crazy. I just want to thank you so much for watching this video. If you're not already and you'd like to be, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. I post a new video every week and like I said in the beginning, I'm doing vlogmas so I'm also trying to post vlogs and a lot of hair videos and makeup videos um, while I'm on break from school so that I can, you know, boost my content on the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a later video. Bye! So, hey, look at how it just like snaps. Shrinkage, inches, shrinkage.